on big. Oh, no, no, I, I saw him. Was there? Yeah, we're uh, five mic tango. All right, let's get down to a thousand feet now. Okay. Uh, tower seven one five mic tango. We're going to be maneuvering out here by the soft full stand frequency for traffic. Five mic tango, Roger. <laughs> Cessna 07 November, the Cessna ahead of you will be maneuvering over Leslie's Hall. Looking at traffic. Zero seven November. Tricky three mic mic contact, NorCal departure, now we good flight. Alright, so we're gonna go around three to the left mic. at first here. Go left first? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna oh, right. circle right. Yeah, you're gonna actually turn right. Uh, when we go over the salt pile, you wanna go turn right? No, we're not gonna go as far as the salt pile. Do you right. see the four uh, rectangular pods there? Oh, oh yeah, I see here. And then behind it, there are four more. Okay. All right, that's the area that we're gonna fly around. Okay. And you're gonna turn, you can turn actually right now. Turn right. Uh, which, and consider this edge to be the runway. And we want to fly parallel to this edge. Okay. And we're going to do that all the way around. So uh, now I'm parallel on one of the edges. Take a traffic. Right. A mile on trail, you also wipe out south now. It's going 1,300 there, passing behind it here right now. All right, right. All right, what I do here is also just maintain constant altitude. So you're basically flying a downwind okay. on that edge of the four rectangles. So the zero center over the aircraft is maneuvering off your right one mile, 1,100 inches. Should be no factor for you for your to change of route. Traffic inside, so frequency change of route. Okay, and then I'm going to go Thank half a mile out. Well, no, well, not that far. You're going to maintain a constant spacing. This is about the spacing you want all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to make a left turn now. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It has to be a relatively steep turn because okay. our ground speed is pretty high. Then we have a direct We have a direct cross once so you got the turn even further and point a little bit to the ponds. Okay. Right. Right, right about here. Okay. Just kind of feel try to feel what the wind is doing to the plane. Yeah. So we're not perfectly. Well, that's okay. I know you. It's not a perfect. It's not a perfect uh, side on this side. All right. Now, now we're going to be turning into the wind. So this has to be a shallow turn. Shallow turn. Okay. Northwest bound southbound. Taking two thousand four hundred. Has you inside. I have your request. You can expect. All right. Just start okay. to just a very sh no. Very shallow. Shallow. Because okay. otherwise you're not going to get your spacing. Because we're, we're kind of fighting upstream now. Okay, very nice. And we're going to straighten her out. I want to go for track parallel to it. The same thing applies with the next turn. We're still going into the wind, so you have to start out shallow, and then uh, we'll make it worse, a little uh -huh. bit more steep as we get around. So I'm going to go. My point is the uh, the furthest out. The furthest point out of the, the, to that edge right there. That would be my. Okay. Let's start your turn because okay. the ponds are right here. So okay. you got to start your turn. It's going to be shallow turn. Yeah. So then as we start to get the crosswind, then you'll steepen up the turn. Okay. But not, not really steep. Okay, a little bit more now into the wind. That's right. Yeah, not, it's not going to be a, a rally on a 90 degree turn in this case. Okay, well I'm following that line That's right, right there. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to straighten it out. Alright, now we're getting, the wind is blowing us to there. Okay. So i got to steer away from the, to go into the yeah. wind. This is the things we run into when we're flying the downwind in a traffic pattern also, right? Right. Alright. 
Alright, and now get back to your thousand feet. And now what we're going to do is fly straight out there a little ways, and we're going to come back and do it the reverse direction. Okay. Uh, so we'll come out and just kind of do a right 180, or left, I don't care, whichever you want. Next maneuver, Armando. Okay. 
You see that little building down there? Uh, right down there. Look down this way. This is where my finger is. Look where I'm pointing. You see that little, that little shack down there? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right there. That's going to be the point we're going to turn around, okay? Okay. But we're going to start on the downwind. We always want to start on the downwind. Okay. So what you can do is just angle off to the left a little bit, and then we'll swing it around. We'll go out just a little bit further, and you can straighten out now. I just want to give us an angle on this. The idea is to keep the... Uh, your constant distance all the way around this as you're turning. Constant distance, okay, so we're going to... Oh, radius. radius. Okay, yep. so we're... And the wind is going to fight you on that. Okay. The wind is not going to want you to fly. Okay. Okay. Have a good okay, one. you turn to the right. Okay, your first... And we're going to get the, that little building on your left sand side. That's the... We'll see it. Okay, I see it now. All right, a little uh, bit more. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, 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 turn. We're going to get on your left-hand side. Okay. Okay, good. Now, you won't start the turn until you're beamed of the shack, the building there. Okay. All right, so level out. We may be a little too close. We'll see. But uh, see more? how this works. Yeah, you don't want to be too far away from it, otherwise when you turn, the wing is going to cover it up. Okay. All right, let's look at it. I'm going to turn okay. right on a, be a beam of that okay. guy. So in about... right now. Okay, and this will be a steeper turn. Steeper turn, about 30 degrees. Right, right about here. Now keep okay. an eye on the building. Okay. All right, now, start to sh now you're going to start to shell it out a little bit. Now, yeah, that's right. Just, Just do whatever it takes to keep the building right there. Okay. That's the 850 Sierra Papa, Papa Tower, runway 31, line up and wait. Line up and wait, Sierra Papa, runway 31. I'm real shallow now, because otherwise you're going to get too close to it. Shallow, shallow. Okay. So right into the wind. That's a zero zero Papa. Follow the upwind archer. They're also in right close traffic. Wind three five zero at one eight runway three. And then you start to steep it up. Not real Papa steep to start. Your Papa, thanks, Papa. Hello, Adam Howard. Now one eight six Charlie Sierra. Uh, what do you start off runway three by right? Need some help. That's the one eight six Charlie Sierra Papa Tower runway three one left right. away. Now I'm gonna wait till one eight six Charlie Sierra. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, you're you're without me giving you any coaching. We're gonna go down this way a little bit. And we're gonna okay. do it. You're I'm actually no. It. We have to get on the other side to enter down. Okay. Way. Yeah. So go pat go. Well, we have left. to. We're gonna have to get on the upwind side of the, the Up, building. Okay. So unless we want to pick a different point down here. No, that's okay. Yeah. Just go fly around it. Okay. Six Charlie Sierra. The upwind Cessna's in right close traffic. Yeah. Get back down to your altitude. Your altitude control actually is very very good. The idea with this is one of the maneuvers you're likely to do on the check ride, uh -huh. and what they're looking for is that you not focus, that you not fixate on that point, uh -huh. that you're looking for information Quebec current that you're uh, dividing your attention to, to the altitude, yeah, and all that. There's weather information available on high watch, flight watch, flight service frequency. Okay, I'm getting further away from that, so I want to get closer. Well, no, it's okay. The distance is okay as long as you can maintain it. I mean, it might, if you find it's a little easier to do it when you're further away, then that's okay too. Okay, now let's so we'll let's fly straight out, right? And then approach it from the opposite direction, but this time put it on your right side. Okay. So make a, a right turn and then come back. Exactly. Yep. Make right traffic runway 31. Make right traffic runway 31. I'm feeling comfortable about uh, maintaining my height yeah. and maintaining my. Uh, well, we've done, you've, we've done a lot of work in the room in traffic. We've done a lot of work in the pattern. I'm sure that's yeah. been helping. It's 1,300. I am for traffic four trailer room in. Set to five, my tango traffic three miles northeast. Your position southwest bound helicopter altitude indicates 800 inbound to Palo Alto. Okay, looking five, my tango. Four trailer room in traffic is inside. I got four trailer Roger, Thank you. Oh, uh, they have us. Set to five, my tango. The helicopter has you inside. Roger. Zero zero, Papa. Were you departing the pattern, or did you want right traffic? 
Okay, this should be good enough. You should be able to okay. swing around. Okay, can uh, make yep. a right turn. Yep. There's your bump, Roger. When we hear pattern, we think that you are going to remain in closed traffic pattern. Just uh, It's a little clearer for us if you just say you're requesting a right cross one, sir. Roger that. Sorry about that. Here's your pop up. That's your pop up, no problem. <coughs> Six Charlie's here, right cross one approved. Contact North Cal Approach 125.35. Good day. 125.35, to picture Charlie the arrow. Straighten out. Right. Yep, straighten out. Fly out this direction a little bit. Okay. 